Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, this is another video in my um, Hunter Guitar series. Uh, and I'm doing my second video on Jimi Hendrix. And uh, I'm doing, uh, let's see, Purple Haze. No, sorry, Hey Joe. And around the two minute mark, we're doing a lick in E minor pentatonic. So let's check it out. Okay, let's go in for a close-up. Okay, so this, uh, like I said, this is in uh, E minor pentatonic. So as far as the scale goes, nothing fancy. But he's got some really nice phrasing things that you want to check out. All right, so he's doing a basic box pattern or root pattern up at the 12th fret. We're in E minor, so here's the E note on the sixth string. So let's start with playing that scale. All right, so I'm going to go... So the fingering is one, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. I realize most of you probably know that one already, but in case somebody uh, doesn't, I just want to give that to you. So, okay. So the first part of it, we're doing a bend, which is uh, on the, uh, sorry, the second string here. We're bending up a whole step and putting vibrato on the top. So if you haven't done that before, it's kind of tricky. Uh, so we're bending up a whole step to basically sound like this note. And you'll probably be more comfortable using your third finger instead of your fourth finger, although I do recommend using your fourth finger uh, to be more versatile. Okay, so we're bending this and putting vibrato on the top like this. Okay. Uh, and then we come up to the, the higher root in the pattern, right? We've got three roots in the pattern. E's. So we're going up here. We come down three notes. So, and then we're going to do a bend. So, so here's what we have so far. Okay, so we play these three notes, and then I want you to hang on to this note, and we're going to put your third finger on the third string at the 14th fret. So they kind of uh, blend into each other, I guess is the best way to put it. All right? Uh, some people refer to that as a unison bend. All right? This, this note down here is bending... Uh, to sound like this note. So between the two notes, they're playing in unison, right? All right, so uh, then we go. All right, so take it from the beginning. So you might want to pause the, the video and kind of catch up with that before we move on. Uh, one more time. Okay, so I'll assume you've kind of caught up with those notes, and we're going to move on. So, and then we're going to go. It's a pretty rapid slide out of this note. So let's see if we can get a better angle here. All right, we slide down really quickly. All right, so we've got that slide going on, and then we slide. He slides back in really quickly into this note on the 5th string. 5th string, 14th fret, with a 3rd finger. Like that. Okay, so let's kind of look at that in more detail. So we slide from, slide from nowhere, and basically we're not focusing on a note. In other words, we're not, you know, for instance, starting from the E over here and going... We're, you don't really hear the starting pitch, because you slide pretty quickly uh, in the beginning. Alright. Alright, so we're sliding in here. And play two notes on the fourth string. Alright. And then we're doing a double stop here on the second and third strings at the twelfth fret. 
And this is a really common one to play. And we hit it twice, so. All right, and then the lick ends with two notes here. We slide out there. Okay, so I did it a little slower than he did it, but. Uh... All right, so from the top, we've got this. One more time, a little slower. One more time, up to speed now. I kind of mishit that last note there, but, but I think you get the idea. So this is a, a, a basic pentatonic lick in one sense. We're just using that box pattern uh, that almost everybody knows. Um, but he's got some nice phrasing things. So you can practice sliding into and out of notes. Uh, just taking the little bits that make the uh, the lick interesting and making it into a practice. So, for example, I could slide into every note. Not as easy as it looks. That's uh, it's easy to kind of skate past those. So these are just some things you can do to kind of uh, go beyond the lick and uh, learn some extra things. Okay, so there was a couple slides in there. Um, and other than that, let's see, he had, a, he had a bend in the beginning and vibrato at the top. And like I said, if you haven't done that before, that's kind of tricky. You have to have enough balance to keep the note up there and then give it a little shake on top. So you can do that with uh, a number of these notes in the, the basic uh, pentatonic box scale. So, like these notes right here, and this one right here, those are the, the most common notes to bend in the scale. There are some others down lower, but uh, uh, we've got, uh, you can practice that technique on those notes. Not easy to play with the first finger, so that's a, that's a good practice to get into. Okay, uh, that's about it. So I would recommend uh, practicing like that. Well, first of all, listen to the lick exactly how he played it and get all the nuance from there. And then once you've mastered the lick, I would take it to the jam tracks. You know, go on YouTube, find a jam track, and, and then try to apply it there. And you can play it in different keys. So in other words, if I wanted to pull up an A minor jam track, I could just take it and move it down to A minor, of course. Uh, all right, so try practicing uh, playing it in different areas of the neck. Well, that's about it for this lick. If you enjoyed that, uh, go ahead and sign up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, see you soon.